close your eyes, place your hands on your lap, and focus on your breath. Know when the breath is coming in, know when it's going out. You might want to use a meditation word along with it to help keep you focused on the breath, like Bhutto means awake. Bhut with the in-breath, To with the out. Because the kind of quality you're trying to develop in the mind, quality of being awake to what's happening, awake to what you're doing. Because all too often we're asleep. We're not really paying attention to what we're doing, we're not paying attention to the world around us. I mean, the things in the world around us are a lot of things that we don't have to worry about. But what you're doing, that should be your responsibility. And you should be very clear about what you're doing, why you're doing what you're doing. And yet oftentimes you ask someone, well, why did you do that? And they say, oh, I don't know, I just did it. Which shows that they're off someplace else. They let everything go on automatic pilot. In other words, they were asleep. Asleep at the wheel. Well, you know what happens when people go asleep at the wheel. They run into all kinds of things. So we're trying to develop a quality of being awake, to know what's going on. Now this requires that you get very sensitive to what's going on in the mind. And the more sensitive you get, the more you begin to realize that you really can't do anything skillful unless you're alert. And you can't do anything unskillful without it's harming the mind. A lot of people, when they're not paying attention, they go ahead and they do all kinds of evil things. They kill and they steal and they cheat. And because they're not paying attention, they don't see what the effect is on their minds, but it just drags them further and further down. But when you're really sensitive, when you're really skillful, you, you notice okay, you can't do things unskillful. You can't harm other people without harming you, without it's having a bad impact on the mind. This is why we have the precepts every week as a reminder that you've got to, at, ver at the very least, not harm other people. And then as you meditate, you sit down you think about the fact that you haven't harmed anybody. It's a lot easier for the mind to settle down, a sense of well-being, a sense of ease, a sense of confidence. At the same time, though, that your mind gets more sensitive, you do need some protection. Again, this is what the precepts offer. They are your protection. If you don't do horrible things to other people, they're not going to do horrible things to you. Now, you may have a past of a few horrible things, in which case you have to, a few things you have to deal with, you'll have to put up with. But as long as you're confident that you're not putting anything bad into the system right now, after all, there's not going to be anything bad coming back to you. And so you stick with that conviction, and that's your protection. Because as the Buddha said, when you make up your mind, you're not going to kill anybody at all, anywhere. You're not going to steal anything from anyone, anywhere. No illicit sex, no lying, no alcohol, under any circumstances. You're giving a gift of unlimited safety to other beings. And at least from you, they don't have to fear anything. And when you give that gift, then you get a part of that safety as well, part of that protection as well. The meditation is also a kind of protection. It protects you because you've got your awareness filling the body. When other people say things, okay, your awareness just stays right here, and you can just see what they say and just goes right past, goes right past. They may say hurtful things, they may say horrible things, just goes right past. And then you can look at it, well, are there, is what they say true? If there's some truth to it, then you can learn from it. But if you feel like you're in the line of fire, then you're not going to be willing to learn from anything, true or false. And at the same time you fill your body with your energy, it means other people can't invade your space with their energy. So the meditation, too, is a kind of protection. So you might think about it as being like a turtle. On the inside you're very sensitive to what's going on in the mind, but you've also got this protection, a protection of goodwill, a protection of virtue, a protection of concentration. That's your shell. Although well, the image of the turtle is, indicates that the big troubles come from outside, but that's not the case. The real problems come from inside. That's what you really need to protect yourself from. But the more sensitive you are to your actions and the results, then it becomes more and more automatic. You just don't want to do anything unskillful, and that's your protection right there. So this is why we have to wake up. Because when you're asleep, as I said, when you're asleep at the wheel, you can drive off the cliff, you can drive into people, and do all kinds of damage. But when you're awake at the wheel, okay, then, then you can take your car to where you want it to go, safely and on time.